Happy New Year! I'm back, guys. I'm feeling much better. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm feeling close to it. I've been sick. I've had that RSV. And we'll talk about that later. What I want to do right now, I want to show you guys my version of cleaning and cooking chitlings. Okay, let's get started. Okay. I've cleaned most of them, of course, but I'm going to show you guys how I do it, okay? And I buy the, the Aunt Bessie pre-clean ones. So what I do, they already have them turned inside out, see? As I take and all you got to do with these, yeah, they're pre-clean. But you still have to take this membrane off. See what I'm doing? Taking that inside membrane. Remember how I showed you guys how to clean ribs? Take the membrane off the back of the ribs? This is the same, basically the same thing. But you just, if you don't take this off, they'll never get done. So that's what I do. I take them, peel this off. Okay, I got the five pound bag, it was $25, but that's cheap compared to a lot of other stores. They want $40 and some want more. So, see what I'm doing is peeling that, that membrane off of there. You gotta get that off. Well, the chillers, they will not get, if they get done, they're going to be very tough. Just like the ribs. That membrane just have to come off of there. Then I'm going to show you how to, I'll, I'll season mine. I make pretty good chillers. They be so tender, you don't even have to chew them. But, they, they quit. I missed you guys. But I was sick. That RSV is nobody's joke. They hit me on that cough syrup. That stuff, I see why they call it lean out in the street. That stuff, whoa, it takes you down. I was sleeping a lot. Could barely talk. That's why I didn't try to come on YouTube and talk to you guys. Okay. All right. Let me pay attention to this. So I can usually it come right off. But of course, I'm trying to demonstrate something so it's going to act a fool. You know how that is. <laughs> okay. But we don't get it off. All of it. See? Get it off of there. Okay. And I get a five pound. It's a five pound bag. Well, it's enough for me. There we go. Just peel it all off. It comes right off. Just like on the rib. Yeah. I was at the grocery store yesterday. But see, the thing is, I got to stay in the house. But I have to go out. I have to go to the grocery store, stuff like that. You know, like tomorrow I got a doctor's appointment because I found out I got a, a torn rotator cuff. I got to go to surgery soon. Here we go. We got that off. We got a clean chitlin. See? That's a clean chitlin. You end up, when you get that membrane off, wait, so I'm still on here. See? So I'm still on here. We got to get that off. See there? 
just pull it on off. Now it's clean. We go right in the pot. Right there. I got one more. I'm going to demonstrate one more. And then I'm done cleaning now. I always pour the wart out. And then, basically, find that one line and start tearing it that. See? And that'll just guide you all the way to getting it off. To getting that membrane off. It's not hard at all. Tear it off. See how easy it is. Back I'm going opposite way. But that's alright, it's still coming off very easily. So you guys know. This is the only day of the year I eat chitlins. I love them, but I don't eat them but once a year, New Year's Day. I hope you guys had a happy New Year's Eve. I did. Hammy and I played music and danced. He likes to dance too. I got them ready so he could tell you guys Happy New Year when I finish and get these on the stove. He gonna tell you guys Happy New Year. And that's, that's that. Pull that little bit off, and that's your membrane, get rid of it, and that's your clean chitlin. Put it in the pot, and I'm done. So, I take this wart out, let it out. And that's it. And we get ready to season them and put them on the stove. And you know it's going to take a while for them to get clean. I really missed you guys. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to clean my hands. I don't have to touch them anymore. Ouch. That torn rotated cup, it seems like it's getting worse. Happy, I got to go on and get to the doctor tomorrow so I can get it taken care of. But once for all and for all. I got my water made up here so I can clean my hands and everything. Y'all know I love my darn bleach. Yep. Yeah. Now, I put up my, I almost have like a little celery in my chitlins when I cook them. Family and I was playing with ouch, his uh, toys, one of his Christmas toys this morning. And he kind of lit me. He didn't mean nothing bad. But he sure lit me good. Not, not too bad, but I got to put a band aid on it. Yeah. Get my safe cleaned up. I get my kitchen clean. Let's put it in my kitchen. Let's spray it on here and let it sit a minute. There's some powerful stuff here. I concocted it myself. Okay. Let's get my hands after 
Ini Okay. There we go. Now, get y'all back here a little bit. Put these over here a second. Get rid of this mess. I gotta take these outside. They have to go outside. But you know, the pre-clean chitlins, they don't stink like those ones in the red film. But those still got poop on them. That's why I don't mess with them. My New Year's resolution, guys, is to get out here and hustle. I got to hustle so I can get my products sold. I mean, yeah, they're in the store, but they're just sitting there. They're not selling like I want them to sell. I got to hustle, y'all. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. Let me go. All right. Okay. Get you up here. All righty. There we go. Now, I got to get my dish water made. I to clean my towel, clean my counter. I got my, my hoodie on because I keep me warm. I don't want to get cold. I can't afford to get cold. these chitlins on the stove. I'm also going to have um, spaghetti and coleslaw and cornbread. I thought about cooking black eyed peas, but I don't want all that food. I'm going to tell you guys something. That RSV, it, does, it did not take my appetite. I wasn't cooking. I was mostly eating soup and stuff like that. Well, I was eating. I was not, uh, I did not lose my appetite. No, I didn't. Sure didn't. Okay. Now we got everything cleaned up. Okay, now we're ready to get them 
seasoned and on the stove. Be clean first. I can't cook in a dirty kitchen. Everything has to be clean. And it is, so let's get them seasoned. Some water there. I just get put in enough water to basically cover them. And put some hot water. Put that hot water in there. Or if you know they're gonna cook a while. About three, at least two, two and a half, three hours, if not more. Okay, that's enough water. Right. Let me get my cutting board. There we go. See what I'm doing. To be able to see what I'm doing. Start with our onion. Be cut up. It's a strong onion. That's a good thing, you know, to open up my left side. I had trouble mostly with the left side of my head. Stayed stopped, though. It's still kind of congested. I always cut a little bit off the bottom to make it flat so you can use it without it rolling all around. And just slice it on up. You gotta be, you know, why do you wanna slice it? Let's put it in there. And then, when it's just about done, I add a little more onion because it would have cooked so long, you know. It use up its flavor. That's why I add some at the end. Get a fresh onion taste. Fresh garlic. Try to find me a nice size clove. And one. Hey, yes, y'all. What you guys are doing for the new year? 
I haven't made any resolutions except to get my butt up, get well, and get out there and hustle and sell my products. That's what I want to do for the new year. Yep. Other than that, just try to stay healthy. Paper off, brother. And you don't have to cut this any particular way. Just basically get it good and, and crushed. And just cut it up. It don't matter. Put them in there. Okay. Celery. What I do with it? I thought I had it out. No, it's in the fridge yet. What well, condition it's in? Because I had it a while. Celery don't last too long. Oh, it's so horrible. Some of it's good. Oh, it's so I don't want a lot of it anyway. So clean it up, that's all. No, I don't do brown on my veggies. No, I don't. Anything with brown, though, they gotta go. Okay. And celery just really give chitlins a good flavor. Did they really do? Okay. Let's cut it up. I, I just want the flavor. I'm not gonna really eat the, the celery. So, put it in there. Don't need a lot because you know, we don't have that many chitlins. Okay. No. Yeah, that's plenty. And now, y'all know what these are. We don't want a lot of that. <laughs> Those hot, they get you. Hey, we we'll get you. We're gonna put a little of that pepper sauce in there. That was too much. A little piece of one of these peppers, just a piece of it. These things are no joke, I'm telling y'all. Look, this is the size of the piece I'm gonna put in there. And trust me, that's enough. That back, and that's all the veggies we need in there. Okay, now we get the seasoning in there. There we go. Let's grab a bag from my onion. I'm going to leave it out though because I'm going to put some in my spaghetti sauce. Now you, you guys have seen me cook spaghetti so more likely I won't demonstrate that. But I don't think you've seen me cook a meat sauce. Um, I probably will. Oh man, I'm going to do the thing. I'm do it right. Right? Okay, now let's get it on here. We're going to put some salt. We got to salt it. We don't want too much though. Because you know it concentrates as it cooks down. We're going to put some black pepper. Okay. 
Okay. This feel good to be back in here cooking a good real meal. And of course, we're gonna put some regular dinner blue because we got that pepper sauce in the pepper. So some mild dinner blue, just a little bit. And that's really all the seasoning we need because we got our veggie seasoning. So let's go put it on the stove. And that's all to that. Pizza last night. I didn't make it though. I, I fixed it up to my liking. But okay. I'm gonna put it on this apple right here. Front left. That's my favorite for some reason. Start it off on hot so it start boiling. See? Okay. So once it start, start boiling, I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer until they get done. And that's about the size of it. Now I'm going to clean up in here and fix up some little breakfast. And I'm going to Come on and come and talk to you guys live and let you know what's been going on. So when I'm done with all that, I'll see you soon. Thank you guys for watching. I love you for watching. Happy New Year. And God bless. Bye-bye.